Welcome to Big Daddy's Storytime. We're reading Winnie the Pooh, Tigger's Family Tree. One crisp fall day, Tigger asked all his friends to go bouncing with him. But nobody would. Poor Tigger felt very lonely. Roo tried to cheer up Tigger. I have a mother, said Roo. Maybe you have a family, too. Hey, that would be great, said Tigger. But I don't know where they live, Tigger said. Maybe Owl can help, Roo said. So off they went to Owl's house. To find someone's family, said Owl, one must first look up one's family tree. Tigger and Roo searched and searched for Tigger's family tree. Hoo-hoo-hoo! Family tree! Tigger shouted. Finally they gave up and went back to Tigger's house. Tigger sat at his desk. Roo sat on Tigger's desk beside a pile of letters. Oh, where are those Tiggers anyway, said Tigger. We've looked everywhere. Roo picked up a letter. Maybe there's another way to find them, said Roo. I'll write them a letter, said Tigger. Dear T.I. Double Gr Tiggers, greetings. Please drop by anytime. Love, Tigger. They put the letter in the mailbox. Now there's nothing to do but wait, said Tigger. Roo and Tigger and Roo waited, and they waited. After a while, it started to snow. Finally, Tigger said, I might as well face it. There aren't any other Tiggers. Tigger sadly went back inside. Roo wanted to make Tigger feel better. He decided Tigger's friends should write a pretend letter to Tigger from his family. Al wrote, Dear Tigger, just a note to say, Dress warmly, said Kanga. Eat well, said Pooh. Stay safe and sound, said Piglet. Keep smiling, said Eeyore. We're always there for you, said Roo. Wishing you all the best, signed your family, finished Owl. I got a letter from my family, Tigger said the next morning. They're, they are coming to visit tomorrow. Tigger bounced off to get ready. Oh dear, said Kanga. He'll be so sad when they haven't when, when they don't arrive. But Roo had another idea. My family, said Tigger. I am so happy to meet you all. Roo, Tigger asked, why aren't you dressed like a Tigger? Pal a piglet, owl, Kanga, and Eeyore. You're not my family. Tigger left the party. He went, he went back into the woods to find his family tree. He came to a tree covered with stripes, but Tigger could not find any Tiggers in the tree. It wasn't a t Tigger family tree after all. Tigger, Roo said, coming up behind him. Are you okay? Tigger looked at Roo and all his friends. Maybe you are my family, said Tigger. Of course we are, said Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin took a picture of Tigger and his friends. It's my family picture, said Tigger happily. And we can take from this, my friends, is that the friends and priceless friendships that we have, we often forget that those friends are our family as well. I thank you so much for listening. 
I hope you had as much joy listening as I had reading it to you. Thanks again for listening.